A new challenge is in sight. Baroness Katarina, after studying the red word stones, intends an another test of Manfred's ri ritual. This time she will attempt to resurrect a creature mightier than any ogre. A manticore has established its lair in the market square. This monster will be the perfect subject for Katarina's experiment. Of course, it will have to be killed first, a daunting feat in itself. Compounding the issue is the presence of a mercenary warband that has also set its sight sights on the manticore to succeed. The poachers must be killed or driven off. Either way, the manticore's corpse must be claimed for Count Vlad. As much as I'd like to keep gathering wordstone, I think we're ready for the next mission. Studying the red weirdstone has suggested to me certain refinements to Manfred's ritual that should increase the efficacy of the spell. There is a sympathy between the red stones and the death energies of necromancy. Harnessed properly, that harmony will compound the magic tenfold. I intend to test these refinements on a subject of far greater scale than the ogre I used before. The ghosts of Mordheim have shown me where such a beast may be found. In the market square, a survivor from Count Steinhardt's menagerie has established its lair. From some time now, the plaza has been the haunt of a fearsome manticore. Terror of the monster has caused the square to be shunned by all but the boldest warbands for the bones of its many victims lie strewn about the ruined fountain at its center. The manticore will need to be overcome first. You will need to kill the beast and remove its heart, as you did with the ogre. The creature appears to have developed a taste for weirdstone, consuming the shards and later rejecting them back at its lair. The presence of so much weirdstone has saturated the area around the fountain. It will serve as a suitable site to perform the ritual. A note of caution before we embark on this task. The spirits have also revealed to me that there are others who hunt the beast. A warband of mercenaries, Reichardt's Reavers, have taken it into mind to secure the monster's pelt for their patron. Clearly, you cannot permit this. The mortals will need to be driven off or exterminated. It is no less than they deserve for daring to interfere in the master's affairs. Though, upon reflection, their presence may be useful if they've engaged the services of an ogre. A brute like that animated by my magic could make subduing the Manticore much easier. A new round has started. Alright, so yeah, there's items and stones all over the place here. Looks like we're fighting another mercenary band. No carts down below from what I can see. We gotta gather ritual materials and stones. Objective completed. New objectives added. So pretty much her whole inventory is full now. Slay the ogre, slay the manticore, locate corrosive warp stone. Let's see. And, oh, the other thing I did off camera is I wanted to compare if uh, two purple weapons was better than one two-handed blue weapon and it did increase the damage so for the guys that I had some uh, extra purple weapons for which would be like a knife and an axe or something then I gave them two-handed weapons I did that off camera too but pretty much everything else is the same I just wasn't sure if that would make sense or not it actually looks like the humans are fighting the manticore up here so I wonder how far I want to push that. Maybe what we'll do is just kind of stay back here, see if we can aggro some guys towards us. And then we'll close the gap onto the manticore there. Yeah, so they're definitely fighting them right now. Which is not bad by any means.
Alright, nice purple weapons here. If you want to drop this guy down right away, I would not be sad about that. I kind of, I kind of feel like I gotta come after the Manticore first, though. I feel like he's the big bad scary monster here. I don't even see who just attacked me. Question is, is are they gonna? Yeah. Okay, didn't even have to finish my question. It was going to be, I wonder if A they're going to aggro on started. top of me, or whether they'd focus on the Manticore. I'm guessing what happens is the guys that are already in combat with the Manticore will stay in combat, and the guys that aren't will come after me. Alright, let's delay... New objectives added. Here's the corrosive objectives warp stone. Completed. Objectives updated. So it looks like there's three of them, which objectives we should be able to get. Updated. Objective completed. He's uh, actually doing quite a bit of damage to him. Well, that's some bullshit. I was not expecting that. And now my chance to hit is going to be terrible because he just blinded me with that sand. And they're all going to be aggro right now. Well, maybe we start healing our intrepid leader here. Kind of like to get the kill. Although he's already max level, so I don't know if that really makes sense. I think I'm just kind of feeding experience away, but at the same time, a lot of my guys are getting close to level 10, so... He's down. He does have purple weapons. Looks like there are there is an archer up top. I wonder if he was the one that was shooting me with Overwatch that I didn't see. I don't know. It doesn't feel good to uh, take an unnecessary poison damage here too. Okay, so he was not the one to. New objectives uh, added. Objective complete. Fight or shoot at me then. I can't even tell where you are. I guess let's just run you around. And you can gather items for me. And I think you have to drop a bunch of shit down here if I remember. New yeah. objectives added. Objective completed. Objectives updated. Ah. Oh. Am I literally going to take damage for every one of Objectives these? Objectives updated. Yeah, I sure should am. Objectives updated. Well, that's not great. Objective completed. <clears throat> All right. Well, I think I can get over there to get that equipment. There we go. Because if I can get a bunch of purple weapons out of this, I would 
not be upset. Alright, you've locked him down. That makes me think he doesn't have a melee weapon. Alright, good resist to the crit. And I should be able to heal these guys up. Next turn. A new round has started. I do not like that. I could just sit back and do three life steals, but I think he's got enough health that you shouldn't be able to chop all the way through him, right? Maybe I finish it off with this. There we go. Delay. And it's like, do I have you fight the Manticore or these other guys? I feel like they're doing enough damage that I should just fight. You're here. Get you there. And then maybe we just run you back to the cart. Take it back. Let's come after this archer. Your chance to hit is still pretty bad. He's down. Take that. We're going to have to get you back to the cart. Damn it. Alright, well, let's start healing these guys up. not thinking the ogre was over here. I guess of course he is though. Especially if he was fighting everybody else here. That is hella problematic. I don't even know where I want to put you is a thing. Yeah, I feel like I gotta drop this guy. I've gotta slay the manticore. Slay the ogre. Fill you up with stone here. And get you over here. Too far away. Damn ogre is doing a shit ton of damage to me. Um How do I want to do this? Part of me thinks I should come over here and kill this guy. Just to guarantee he's not running around shooting me. He's got the three purples. I 
could have you fight the Manticore. I could have you come after the Archer. I think we just killed the Archer. So he doesn't sit back and start keep shooting me. A new round has started. You. Heal. Some of our other characters here. And dodge. Let's just run you back. You keep fighting them, this guy. Alright, good. His chance to hit is much better, so he's no longer blind. Unfortunately, it's hard to tell because he keeps missing his attacks. You are here. We gotta move you up for sure to be able to heal our guys over this way. Unfortunately, I think I'm gonna have to end up healing the ogre too. Well, I could pull him back here. All right, good dodge. Holy shit, come on now. Especially if I gotta start healing the ogre. That's three attacks if I heal for 60. Alright, keep stacking up those debuffs here. This guy still has well over 2,000 health. You're stuck in the acid. I think we should just attack who we can here. And he just should fly off here, I would imagine. Oh, he's way up in a building there. That's where he is. Alright, let me see ya. He's down. Can walk through here without getting into the acid. And you start smacking this guy down and getting those quick incisions going. Oh, the reinforcements are coming. A new Guess round it was has started. Bound to start happening here. Alright, and you've got to start healing these guys more. Come on now. We've got all this chance to heal here. And of course it's doing that stupid thing where the uh, acid is bugging out where it's going to just perpetually do two damage to my guy. I've, I vaguely remember that being a thing. to do this, but really, most of my guys need to be healed. So we're going to drag that big battle out here, unfortunately. It's like, part of me wants to get you over there to start picking up items, but the other part of me is like, I can't heal you. So I don't know if that's really a smart thing to do. So let's just hide you over here. I don't think the guy that's Hiding in the tower can shoot you. Our little awesome club over there. Uh, 
Alright, well. Got a couple archers up there. If I run you through here. I've e emptied out that chest. I guess with you already being up to four, we might as well just run you back here. Keep smacking down the ogre here. Oh, damn it. I'm starting to feel pretty confident there, I'm not going to lie. I wonder if 99, 95% is the max chance to hit. I'm trying to think, have I ever seen a greater than 95? A new round has started. Um, I'm just trying to think, do I need to kill any... Do I need to get the kill here? Man, why are you failing your heal so much? Alright, so you've got an empty inventory. Can have you start attacking this guy. Looks like I could delay, and I could feed this kill to my Vampress before the ogre goes again. All right, you're just attacking here. I don't think I can feed. Any more kills to the Cryptor here. Could send them back to the cart to try to pick off reinforcements. New objectives added. Yeah, I think I just Objective need completed. to bring this to a close with these guys over here. I don't really like the thought of healing the Manticore, but at the same time, I'm healing my own guys for a lot more. you up to try to fight the manticore here. Got those things. She's still blind, but she's actually doing a pretty good job of hitting. Just kind of hanging out here. We'll hide you behind the back. You're almost dead. 
So I think we just hide you here, maybe. Hopefully he can't do that acid spray over on you. You are actually stuck in an acid pool, it looks like. Pretty sure that the Mana Corps attacks can't be parried, and I think they can only be dodged, started. but... So the rest of these guys. Can keep fighting. Pull you back. Pretty sure all the items would be gone here, but we'll take a look. Got the Manticore down two thirds, so that's good. We got that going for us. And now we can heal for a little bit. Looks like they're just going to keep summoning an archers on me. Which isn't the end of the world. Your inventory, I think, is full, right? Yeah. So let's run you back to the cart. Ugh. Damn it. You're full as well. Let's see. I think we probably just want to run you to start getting items, right? New objectives added. All right, so you Objective got that stuff. completed. Looks like I never did get the items out of here. The mage must have died. There's warp stone on the other side there. I get some wood planks, I guess. Send you up here to start getting some more warp stone. Not a huge fan of leaving our guy who's uh, injured there, but your inventory is full. A new round has started. All right, so you are here. Healing. Damn. All right, and you, maybe we send you around the outside here. Keep collecting all those items. You're in the perpetual damage. I can't tell where you just dropped. Okay, I see where you dropped now. I couldn't tell where you were. Well, good news is... 
you're not blind, so you should be able to just get some hits. And you have enough health that you should be able to tank this guy's counterattacks without much difficulty. Nice. Because I think my ghouls are still a little too damaged. And we can turn you a little bit to the side here so you don't heal the manticore another 60 health. That should be good. Slowly whittling them down. <laughs> oh, don't be shooting Katarina now. It's a dick move. Alright, we still got lots of inventory spots left. Good. There's still lots of items to be collected. Let's see here. That's right, you were moving around the back here to collect stone. And we got some to the north of you. We will move you down to the cart. I think this way will be the fastest way. Uh, I don't want to stop you on the cart, though, because I should be able to pull you back. And I can get the leader back up here. Got some planks over here. Is a, a new round has started. All right. Um. Yeah. In fact, it's such a high problem. I gotta focus on killing them to save our Globadier instead of fighting the Manticore. All right. Keep going. Keep sending you around the side. There's some more up ahead. Looks like it's just a fragment. Alright, let's get this going. He's down. Heal those guys. The Manticore has disappeared again. Pretty sure I cleaned those bags out, didn't I? Yeah. The way it looked made me think I had actually stashed stuff in there, though. Let's just fight. How are we doing? One more spot. So I guess we shouldn't be running back and forth to the cart here anymore. You are up to here. We're getting some blue items. 
Same there. We'll be up to here. Alright, what do you got? You're up to four. Ooh, nice. Well, I guess we're just gonna run you back to fight since you're full with your inventory. I suppose the other option... I don't think it's feasible, but I was going to say the other option would be for me to run around with him, gather stuff, and actually put it in the enemy cart. So there'd be one pickup point. Alright, well we've cleared a lot of the map off, actually. Finding a lot of stuff here. Alright, so we got item up above us here. We've got this guy hiding on the other side of the new round has started area. I feel like you just gotta go for the heels at this point in time. You're up to three. So I think it's up here, if I remember correctly. Yep. Blue bow. We'll run you back. There should be some fragment. Yep, there we go. Alright, and you're almost dead. So let's hide you here. So hopefully that manticore won't drop on top of you. You just keep healing these guys. You can drop those wood planks down here. here shortly. And then what do I have to do? Place the ogre, hort, ogre, ogre heart in the ritual site. And he's got 124 left. You are now 5 out of 5. still way back here. I'm guessing he's gonna have stone in the cart. And I think they typically have stone in the center as well. Yeah, shoot that manticore. Good. Buff everybody and parry. All right, he's dead. New objectives added. Objective completed. All right, new objectives added. Gathered. Objective completed. A new round has started.
Alright, keep those heals coming. Alright, you've got all that stuff here. I wonder if I drop off this corrosive warp stone and run you over here. Should I bring you back and drop off blue items and just keep up picking warpstone? In which case maybe I actually will drop stuff off in their <clears throat> in their card here. I was kind of hoping you were going to be able to heal that other guy, too. But it does not look like that's going to be feasible. Alright, and let's drop the Ogre Heart over here, too. Objectives updated. And then... <gasps> I wonder if I can have Katarina pick up all these unnecessary items here. Since her inventory should be quite a bit better. Objectives updated. Oh, that was the what you may call it. Warlock. Is there not an item over here? Oh, I guess there isn't a lockbox. Okay, usually there's a lockbox over here. I guess that makes that collection much easier. Alright, so we got three warp stone up here. We still got the cart. The enemy cart will always have warp stone in it. Alright, and you are just making your way over here. Manticore Heart. Objective hurt. completed. Corrosive Stone Objective over Heart. Completed. And then we start having you walk back to. Our other area. I wonder, do I run you to the cart to see if I have a bunch of blue items in there? Because if I do and I need to drop stuff off, it would be good to know. Let's throw those planks down. Um, <clears throat> I think I could get all the way over to the cart here. So we'll drop that, fill that up. Yeah, shit, there's a lot of stuff in here. Okay. Just drop you over there. A new round has started. All right, and you. Start coming this way. To get up here. Ogre heart. 
Objective completed. And... To Manticore New hurt. objectives added. Objective completed. Get rid of the blue items. We want to make sure we get the clusters. Damn, I might get like a couple hundred uh, warp stone here. Not that I'm opposed to that. Let's fill up with the shards here. here too so we will run you up here unfortunately because the guy is blocking the cart I can't go any farther Move you over here to get him away. I wonder if I could get my other guys to weaken them down enough to get the kill. Alright, let's take a look and see what we got for stuff in our cart here. It's actually mostly purple. Yeah, that's not a lot of openings here. Alright, well, let's do that then. It actually makes me feel better that I haven't wasted a bunch of time collecting a bunch of junk. He's down. Oh, your inventory is actually full, or er, empty. So let's get you over here. For sure. You've still got several openings left, but there's also some warp stone behind you. Or up atop here, I should say. Of course, it's a fragment. Don't be doing that now. Good. Ready for the Vampress now. Alright, and you're full. So let's just start sending you over here to start smacking these guys down. Since you're pretty much healed. A new round has started. All right, five out of five. Let's just kind of group you guys together so you can get some healing going. You can come over here to start Smack these guys down and hopefully get a bunch of kills while we're running around. You just keep healing everybody there and picking up our clusters here. Shit, man, look at all this that's still there. It's quite a bit. Alright, 
Alright, she's got just a bunch of blue weapons. So let's get those. And then... Yeah, here he is. I was going to say, I'm pretty sure there was a hero around here. Or a guy around here. get you up here. Get all that warp stone out of there. Even though the blue items are probably worth more than the warp stone, but again, if I'm going to be doing a bunch of training... I will need to have warp stone stockpiles. Especially if it's my leaders that are training. This is going actually pretty well for us. I was a little worried there for a little bit, but uh, I think we've pretty much come out ahead here. We're feeding these guys experience. Got a little more items to collect, has and then we're pretty much done with this. I could end the mission now by just triggering the spell. You're good over here. Let's run you here. Drop him. Alright, everybody should be healed now. Everybody that's over here, at least. There's really a ton of things I have to collect yet. I guess there's some warp stone up top there, right? here. Get rid of that. You got the gold. Now. There's really not a whole lot left. We've got some items here and some stone there. And then I think we're done. So one to two more turns and I think we're done with this mission here. Definitely feel like it's been kind of prolonged here as we've been randomly running around trying to get our guys going. Ugh. Yeah, it's a shard, so I do want it. I was going to say if it's just a fragment, I might just leave it be. killed those guys. It's probably A getting so long with started. the reinforcements here that we gotta bring this to an end here shortly. Yeah, 
I was gonna say, don't be a dick and block my uh, area there. So we got that. Let's drop the fragment here. Now I just gotta get the shard. here. Guys are activating traps and getting injured. Oh, look at you coming after Katarina. Brave. almost dropped this guy down and then I should have enough resources to keep leveling a little bit here we did get like 900 resources from our shipment to Vlad you know, we're usually good for a couple hundred gold for rewards for these missions and then the big thing is just after we level up our a new skill has points started. seeing uh, how much, uh... I can level up our Cryptor, because I'd like to get him max level. kind of hoping they were going to come over here, but I don't think they're going to. If we just bring you back here to maybe start healing in case this gets prolonged any further. I don't think it should be, really. Alright, good. Let's get you over here. Get our freaking shard. There it is. That should bring it to a close. Beautiful. Objective complete. A commendable performance. Your warband is to be applauded for their determination. Certainly, this was a fight beyond any you have fought since venturing into Mordheim. Alas, if only the ritual had performed as desired. I fear there are still problems with the intricacies of the spell. The Manticore did indeed respond to my magic, but look upon it now. After only a few hours, it has decayed into a mush of gristle and bone. Such swift and extreme decay is a reaction to the dark magic with which the corpse was saturated. But instead of sustaining the Manticore's animation, it has instead consumed its body. This is an unexpected complication. Possibly the Red Weirdstones are to blame. I must send word to Sylvania and consult with Manfred to learn if he has any insight into what went wrong. The corrosive weirdstones you recovered from the Manticore's lair are an interesting phenomenon. These two will need to be sent to Dragonhof for further study. The Master's necromancers are certain to find a use for such unique samples. Count Vlad will reward you handsomely for their recovery. You are accomplishing great things for the Master. Of all his servants hunting the ruins of Mordheim, your warband has drawn his attention the most frequently. There is a risk in such notice. But so too there is the prospect of greater things. 
Count Vlad doesn't forget loyalty, just as he doesn't forgive failure. You have been rewarded. Okay, and for a reward for the last mission, loyalty to House Von Karstein always reaps its rewards. Continue to please Vlad, and you will see, you see your influence grow. So you get 500 crowns, 4 formulas, 2 tomes of magic, and uh, 1 of each type of armor in the purple setting. So quite the reward here, and we've got one more mission to go.